Hey guys, how are you doing? So I know that some of you had trouble with the React Router installation, especially the React Router 5.0, because the videos that were done initially was React Router 4. something. Now what we will do is the way we can handle it is I'll teach you how to do it in React Router 5.0. However, I will keep the videos for React Router 4 because everything else remains the same. The only part is installation where people are having trouble and how to read the documents and how to see the documents. However, if you still have any questions, I'm always available to help you out. So let's get started. What I will do is I'll create a first product, which uh, first project, which is cre using create react app and let's say my router. Well, you can name anything you want to. So this will, uh, this will just create our skeleton react project. I just want to make sure that I, you know, create everything from the scratch and show it to you. In the meanwhile, let's just explore the new React Router documentation. So this is the link that you can access. If you go here, they also have documentation for pre previous versions as well as what happened. So you can just go on to the view the docs and you should be able to go on to this link where they have everything. So this is the page that opens up. So once you go, you can read a little more. You can watch their video, understand what it does. But for now, we just need web because they also have native and anywhere. So let's just do web for now. And as you can see, the code is on the right hand side and what it does is on the left hand side. So how you install what you do, it's out here. So let's see if our terminal has everything ready for us. Not yet. So let me tell you one more thing. So just like NPM, there is also something or a package manager called Yo, which is uh, what is out here. So if you can see Yan, sorry, actually not Yo, Yo is a language. Yarn is the other package manager that you have. So you can install using Yarn or NPM either ways, but we will just go do the NPM route because that's what we have been following and I like NPM anyways. So I think this is ready. So let's just do CD my react router and let's do NPM start so that our app at, at least comes up. So the app is loading and it should be done very quickly. Okay, so this is the default app that we always see. Now let's go to the router and the code. So nothing has changed here. I'm not doing anything yet, but I'll just open my index.js out here because that's where we will make the changes. Now that being said, let's go on to the documentation. What it says is the way you can create is you can just create your uh, default app like using the demo app go to the app start the server even if you don't and then you can install react router using this command which is yarn add react router dom or if you're using npm it will be npm install react router dom so let's just go that go and do the installation i'll open a new tab so the way you can do it is npm install save and then you can install react router and dom okay so now this should install the react router dam for you. Dam, I mean dom. <laughs> Sorry, pardon me. It's like 2.30 a.m. right now when I'm doing this video. So let's say this gets done. Okay, now the installation is completed. Nothing should change from the UI yet because we haven't done anything. Everything remains the same. Now to implement the example, you can see there are a lot of examples out here, but we will pick up the basic example as you can see. So the basic example, first let's do the import. So the way we had the import was a little different in the previous version. Let's say I'll show you the docs of 3.x. So that will give you an idea on what the installation process was. Right, so the way we used to import was out here, which was react dom, this is okay, this is okay with react router okay so the way you had your react router uh, was from the react router and you imported all this but now that has changed so what you will do is you will copy whatever was in the sample or the basic example which is out here and let's just put it in our code so let's just put it here so now you have react router route and link and of course you call it as a browser router now that being said it comes from react router dom versus react router now the next thing that we're going to do is we will pick up the router as it is and replace it with the app that we have. So that's what we have done in the examples that we have. So if you uh, have stuck on this video, go on to the next few videos and you will see what happens. Now that you can see this is added out here, we do not have home and topics and about. So let's just remove the topics. We'll see two examples at a time. And let me just quickly create the new examples, which is home and about. 
so home.js save it import let's just copy it actually why rather than writing it import react and let's also close this let's do component let's do class home extends component render return and let's give the div and an h2 tag we can give h12 but h2 is fine home let's close the tag so that's h2 and just export the default so export default as home now let's save the file and let's create a new file so that we can have the about page as well new file save it uh, control a control c go here paste it make sure the home is updated to about save the file as about.js now go back to index.js and let's import the two that we just created so now this will become home dot and this will become about so now the imports are taken care of so this will work this will work and the links should work too let's go i know this was a little fast maybe you can slow down the video or go back and see let's go back to our app and you should see that there are two links about and home but home also gets displayed here which is the default url also so you do about you do home and home will take your default all right so now that i have opened this up uh, i can show you quickly how we had it previously so previously we had everything inside the route and then the app so now you can see that the home and about both work as a link now what if you want to still print out the app well the answer is simple because app has to be there in the default cases what you can do is either you have it uh, you know inside this div altogether up you know just after the hr you can just give the app component so by default the app component gets rendered because you already have the app component out here and it should work for you let's save it let's see what happens when you refresh it the app is here your home is still there when you do about only the about changes so you can use the same pattern to run your application and your example and everything should work for you so that was all about the new react router and if you want to see a little more in detail on different examples how you want to have a url pattern so you see netflix if you want you want zero you can change the pattern this this is nothing but you just change the link to it and that's all that's what we have done before even the react uh, you know redirects custom links prevent uh, transitions no match found in that scenario what to do so on and so forth you can also have sidebars when you click on the sidebars you can do things so these are some examples that you can try out and again as i said the document is very good if you still have questions let me know and i'll address it but at least this should solve your problem of actually installing the react router correctly so i hope you uh, learned a lot from this lecture and let me know if you still have a question i'll be happy to address them either in the q and a or in the comment section and i'll see you in the next class